Hello everybody, this is Sandra, and today I'm making mango salsa. Now, this did not come out of the ball book, or any other book. I got this off the internet. This is a canning recipe. Um, anyway, so here's the ingredients. You can see it. Okay. So, I already have my mango in the pot yeah and then my other ingredients have my red onion and my red peppers and then I have my cilantro red pepper flakes uh, garlic cloves well I got minced garlic so I'm wrong with that okay uh, it says finely chopped ginger okay I got what I found Okay, so dog gonna fly in here. Okay, this fly gonna meet his maker. I'm telling y'all right now. And um, then brown sugar. I have my brown sugar. And then I have my vinegar. So basically, let's see this fly get on my nerves. Uh, just dump it all in. Dump everything in there. At one time. And yes, good a little bit of my vinegar. Glad on my nerves. This gonna die. I don't know. So now she dry, grabs the flask of water. Anyway, y'all yeah, talking about Tanya. So basically, all I'm gonna do is heat it up and let it come to this. Uh -huh, yeah, I know. And let it come to a boil. And then after it comes to a boil, I'm going to let it simmer for five minutes. And then I'm going to come back and start canning. So, I'm going to bring you back when I get ready to start canning. Oh, and I do want to say one more thing. When you uh, use mango, okay, I use uh, frozen mango, okay? Make sure that they're firm, okay? When it comes to canning any type of um, fruit that you're using, make sure it's firm. You know, you would typically think what was um, the most right, but keep in mind when you put it on heat, the heat kind of make it more right, for lack of better words, term. So, um, just make sure that you, uh, you use some firm mango. Like I said, I got this from Walmart, the freezer section, because right now, mango's not in season. Uh -huh. But I just want to say it before I forget to tell you guys that, okay? And I do have in my canner, which is what you're hearing, my bottles in my jars in here warming up, heating up. Because you remember, hot on hot on hot. So, hot product, hot bottles, hot canner, okay? But, like I said, I'll be back as soon as this has started to boil and simmer for five minutes. And we'll be canning. Okay, so my salsa has been uh, simmering for five minutes. Now it's time for me to get canning. Like I said, my jars over here, over there, heat up in the canner. Now this recipe is supposed to make four pint size jars. Let me put it up for you. So in case you guys want to do the same thing, I just Googled mango salsa canning recipe, okay? And this one does not have any tomatoes in it. A lot of them have tomatoes and this one does not, okay? In case you're interested. But as usual, like I said, I got my hot jars, my funnel, and my vinegar. Got my caps. I mean, my rings and lids. Got my ladle. And my knee bubbler. And let's get the cannon. And you are to leave, I believe it's one half inch. Yep, one half inch head space. This is 
little bit more. I can get a little bit more in here. Which is why you use your debubbler. Right now it's sitting at one half inch. Yeah, one inch. Yeah, that. What her said. Get my paper towel. Dip it in my vinegar. Like I said, you don't have to use paper towels. You can use a clean towel. I prefer to use paper towel. And I like to use the ones that um, that you can tear in half, half paper towel. Because that's usually all I need. Put on my lid and my ring. Finger tip tight. And put this in the canner. On to the next one. This ice just jumping out the ice maker. In case y'all heard it. Doing the most. Mm -hmm. Guess it decided it want to be free. No, we all. Mm -hmm. Prince said, "Be glad that you are free." You know what Prince said? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you're a Prince fan, you know what I'm talking about. And by the way, on June the seventh. I'll be in the morning, okay? Just saying. So that would make, um, that's a little bit too much. That would make it five years since he's passed, because he passed in 2016. Yep. If you didn't know, now you know. I'm a Prince fan. Well, June the seventh day, he uh, is his birthday. He passed on April twenty first, twenty sixteen. But I usually uh, remember him on both days. He was a talented man. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and can the rest of them, and I'll be back when I've got them all in the jars. Okay, I have my four pint-sized jars, which is what the recipe says it's supposed to give me. And he gave me just a tad bit more. Yeah, tad is a technical term. Anyway, so I'm going to let these boil for 15 minutes. Make sure your water covers your jars by at least one inch, one to two inches. And I will be back when they're done processing. Okay, I'm all done, and there's my four mango salsa. I tasted it, and yeah, it's good. It tastes just as good as I expected it would be. But anyway, um, if you love mango like we do, try it. See if you like it. See you next time, y'all.